Hi, welcome to this video on transformerless solar inverters. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire budding engineers for a better, more sustainable world. So please do subscribe to our channel. Inverters or solar inverters, as we know, are used in PV systems for converting DC electricity into AC. Now, often we are converting low voltage DC that could be 12 volts, 24 volts, 48 volts, or even 96 volts to much higher voltages for AC current, which are around 220 volts that we can use in our electrical appliances. For stepping up the voltage, a transformer is present inside the inverter. In a previous video, we have already covered that there are two main types of inverters. They are low frequency inverter and high frequency inverters. In a low frequency inverter, you would know the presence of a large transformer. The low frequency inverters are good at handling high impedance loads such as for running a pump or a compressor. High frequency inverter on the other hand had a very small transformer inside them. However, since 2010 a newer type of inverter has penetrated the market and it is called a transformerless inverter. In a transformerless inverter, the process of stepping up the voltage is achieved by means of a computerized multi-step process. The electronic component first convert DC electricity into high frequency AC, then AC electricity is again converted back to DC and ultimately to standard AC frequency. This process utilizes transistors, capacitors and MOSFETs. Because of the absence of a transformer, they are lightweight inverters. This allows installers the flexibility of rooftop installation without the need of reinforcements and the shipping costs are also low. The superior efficiency of a transformer-less inverter allow them not only to give greater yield but the internal architecture is such that it can cater for not only one but dual MPPT inputs. In the chart shown, you can see that the transformerless inverters outperform both high frequency and low frequency inverters. Transformerless inverters are very common in Europe and have only lately made inroads in the US market. The reason for that is all electrical systems in the US are practically grounded electrical systems. In a traditional inverter, the galvanic isolation is provided by the internal transformer. US installers are just cautious because in a transformerless inverter, there's no electrical isolation between the AC and the DC circuit inside it. But the transformerless inverters can be grounded by means of additional circuitry. It is more a case of unfamiliarity than safety that the installer in the US are apprehensive about this product. Most of the modern inverters produced are transformerless simply because of superior efficiency. They are low cost. In the industry, the abbreviation TL is normally assigned in the product name to identify an inverter being transformerless. Nearly all the top European inverter brands like Feronius, Siemens, ABB, and Sunnyboy have transformerless inverters as their main product range. There are many Chinese companies that are also following suit and are producing transformerless inverters. These include Suntree, Sumri, and JFY. There are many open source circuit diagrams available on the internet that can guide you on how to make an inverter, a transformerless inverter at home if you feel like making one. So if you have reasonable expertise in making electronic devices, then feel free to make one at home. So just to recap, transformerless inverters are more efficient less costly, less heavy, and can allow for dual MPPT option. If you like this short video, then please feel free to share it, hit the like button so it reaches a wider audience, and comment for questions. Thank you for your attention.